Pune, at the moment, all of you, uh, the biggest uh, concern would be the long commuting time. And I am, I, I must, I am not here uh, to to disagree with any one of you. Of course, the commuting time is 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 very high, and we have to ensure that we have we we are able to reduce the commuting time. I can tell you that the kind of infrastructural works which are going on in terms of the the Metro Rail Corporation, the flyovers, in fact, the Metro, the, the Honorable Prime Minister is in town after tomorrow to be on inaugurating a very, very important stretch of the underground Metro line from Shivaji Court Station to uh, to the Swagate uh, Railway Station. And, that's, and, and similar such uh, Metro works are going on on a large scale. The kind of infrastructure um, which is underway at the moment, which is increasing the com commuting time, which is increasing the traffic congestion, is probably is certainly going to ease down once we are you know, through with these uh, infrastructural constru uh, construction works. Apart from that, there are a lot of development activities which the government is undertaking, which the which which are in the pipeline, and I'm sure um, that in the days to come, the traffic situation would certainly improve. Having said that, I cannot be uh, putting the blame or the burden on lack of infrastructural facilities. We in the traffic, we in the city police are committed. It is our bounden duty to ensure that we do our best to reduce the commuting time, to regulate the traffic in the best possible manner in, the, in whatever constraints are there in terms of resources. We are, I can tell you that we are trying to do our best in terms of intervention, both in terms of regulation of traffic and reducing the commuting time, we have identified certain arterial roads. We have taken certain certain congestion points in the city, which are a major, which are a cause of concern, and we are trying to intervene in whatever best possible way we can. To 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 name a few, the the area, the stretch of road in front of Conrad is one of those priority areas which which frequently faces congestion, uh, especially after the. Demol uh, after the uh, construction activity which has taken place at the Sadhu Vaswani stretch, uh, Sadhu Vaswani flyover. Similarly, may it be the University Chalk, may it be Unri area, may it be the road stretch in front of the West, uh, West Inn Hotel, uh, may it be Wagoli, may it be the other arterial roads. We have identified around 33 such spots where we are intervening and trying to find a solution uh, in the short run with minimum possible expenditure to try and see that the congestion is reduced. Having said that, the uh, everyone would have noticed a, a, a sense of uh, maybe uh, indiscipline, which is which is slowly creeping in uh, amongst the commuters, meaning a sense of why, uh, meaning large scale violations which are taking place. Two such violations, we have started a drive. Uh, of zero tolerance against these violations, number one being wrong carriageway riding. Now, wrong carriageway riding is something which is, I think, unique to, I won't say unique to Pune, but probably the percentage of people riding on the right, wrong side is certainly to an unacceptable level, and we have taken it as a matter of top priority. And the number two is the triple seat riding. So these two issues, we have taken it up on priority, and. We have, uh, in, since we have started it from 1st of September, we have identified hotspots and vulnerable areas. And I can tell you within, by, in the next one month, by 31st October, certainly that enforcement is going to go to such a level where it's going to create a deterrent strong enough for people to stop, r stop doing these two violations of riding on the opposite carriageway or riding triple seat. The enforcement by meaning that the enforcement is going to be so strict that it will be deterrent enough. I mean to say that there will be, uh, I mean, uh, even if it, even at the cost of harassing the commuters, the traffic police have taken it up that we will have to discipline the people on these two aspects. And then there are various other violations which we certainly would need to take it ahead. The, the other priority issue being the helmets. Somehow, uh, I mean, I would not like to comment too much on that issue because we need to create a public uh, awareness campaign and a public campaign that people voluntarily start wearing helmets. But I can say that having worked in several cities of Maharashtra, 
as police commissioners, as superintendents of police, I'll say there's something unique to Pune in terms of helmets. I think there, there's some basic allergy of Punekas to the helmets. We have to, uh, we have to, we have to drill this into the minds of the citizens that helmets is one thing which is globally recognized to be a, to be a safety buffer in case of a, in case of a, in case of a road crash. The head injuries are globally recognized to be the be, be to be the single largest contributor to fatality or grievous injury or to permanent incapacitation. Having said that, this being a globally recognized fact proven all across, yet somehow this aspect is not accepted by the by the Punekas. We certainly need to. Uh, probably try and find a way out to convince them. I would, I would say that we are not going in for any enforcement at this moment on on the issues of helmet. But yes, we need to st start a drive, and we shall do it. Now, as far as the um, the traffic, the other aspect on the traffic issue is we are we have taken up uh, which which is related to traffic, but has also. Uh, implications on the on the crime and the street crime situation is about uh, the 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 road infrastructure first and foremost being the street lighting issue yesterday itself we had a detailed meeting on this with the concerned planning agencies and we have given them a we have tried to give them a target a goal which each one of them sets for themselves that by post navaratri in the next 15 20 25 days or a month we should have streets lit up. There is no reason why a city so urban as Pune has uh, has such poor infrastructure that if you're crossing, I was crossing Conrad right now, and I could hardly see any street lights on that stretch of road. I mean, I don't see a reason why there are so few street lights, and you can see poles at many of the places, but the street lights are not working. So street lights and other similar road infrastructures we are trying to the traffic police, um, you would know that we are not the spending agency or the or the implementing agency for any road infrastructure. That's the planning bodies which we do it. But we do not intend to shirk our responsibility by saying that this is their job and this is his job, this is not my job. We in the traffic police have taken a changed role that we will lead from the front in trying to coordinate with the concerned agencies and try and suggest and find out short-term solutions and long-term solutions to improve the livability, to improve the traffic situation in the city. <clears throat> I can only tell you that um, I, I only, uh, by saying all this, I only want to give you a sense of optimism. Whoever is totally, uh, uh, has become totally pessimistic on the poor traffic situation, I can tell you that we are trying our best and it is a matter of top priority for us to try and improve the traffic situation. You please, each one of you, please have a sense of optimism and contribute by at least, number one, not doing a traffic violation yourself. Number two, not trying to create an awareness that everyone in your family or in your neighborhood or whomever you connect with Try and, try and create an awareness that they do not do it. And in case there is a nuisance going on, or if you have issues, please flag it to us with the hope, with the belief, and with a sense of uh, optimism that the police and the department would certainly respond to it.